Hi guys, this is Lady Manson, the creator of Horizon Gakuen. I am coming to you today from the depths of hell to let you know and show you how I convert items from PMB files, which are Miku Miku Gems files, into copy for you know, files, which are MQ O or OBJ. Um, and this is because I know there's some newer manga makers, just like I was in a few days ago, I guess. Um, figuring these things out and it's really hard and at least if someone shows you like someone told me how to do this um, Maybe you'll catch an idea. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I do it if it works for you That's good if you find an easier way go ahead. So here we go I'm gonna show you what we need for this first off What we need is the item you want to convert. There's many MMB communities online that post their content so you can get some items from there. Be always very mindful that you should credit them for their work, or thank them and such. And you can uh, convert like hats or accessories or such. Maybe uh, pokeballs or I don't know, demon wings, stuff like that. Um, so you get your item. Okay. Next thing we need is Python. Python is some sort of shell that we need for one of our 3D modeling programs because we're going to be using two. I used two. I'll explain why. All these links I'm going to give to you, okay? And the one that you choose, you should choose is this one. That's the one that I'm using right now. Python 273 Windows Installer. It's a wizard. Everybody loves a wizard. So if you send your letter to Hogwarts, maybe that's the wizard you're waiting for. Bad joke. Anyway, next thing. You're gonna need to download that and install it. Next thing we need is Blender. Blender is one of the 3D modeling software we're gonna be using. It's uh, powerful, complicated, and free. Um, just go here to Blender, get it. Right now, this is the current version. They have two versions. If you're using Windows 32 bits, this is this one. If you're using 64 bit, that one. Okay. Next thing we need once you get these two things installed. We're gonna need a plugin for Blender, and it's Pinesio, which is an import export for uh, polygon models, like Comi uh, like Comi Pool uses. Um, just get it from here. Download it, unzip it, and leave it on your desktop. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Anyway, the phone doesn't kind of naughty. Anyway, here we go. Next, I'll stop deviating from the subject. Um, last thing we need is Meta Sequoia, which is the second 3D modeling software. It's fairly easy to understand. The only reason why I don't use this software alone is because you need a plugin to run PMD files in it, and you need to pay for the full version in order to do that, which I don't have money for. So that's why I'm using two. Okay, so I showed you that. Next thing I'm going to do is just tell you install. Python, install Blender in that order, install the Meta Sequoia, unzip and lay out. <laughs> I miss you. Once you get all oh, that done, oh, look at my computer, it wants to yeah. refix that. Once you do that, you should have the folder, whatever you unzipped it to, for PyMesio. Okay, once you get PyMesio, what you're gonna get here is this file, this Blender 26 Mesio. And you're going to copy it. With that copied, we're going to go to my computer, or your computer in this case, and go to your hard drive. And you're going to, if you're running 64 bit, you have two of these, so you're going to go to program files, the one with the 86, and here's Blender Foundation. You're going to go to Blender 2.6, and here you have these three folders. You're going to go down to Swing to Scripts and get to add-ons. That's what we need. And here you're gonna paste. Paste the thing. Mine is complaining because it already has it there, so I'm not gonna paste it. But you paste it there, okay? Once you get that done, then you run Blender. I have it running down here, because it takes a little to load when screencap is running. The screencasting. Okay, this is how the original window looks. This is what you're gonna get. Um, and you get this nifty cube with the uh, or 
orange looking edges you're gonna delete that just press your delete key that's gonna pop up enter done what we're gonna do now is gonna go to file I'm gonna go to user preferences and here we're gonna get this nifty window I'm gonna go to add-ons right here okie dokie once you get here you're gonna get to the search we're gonna search for the one we just post uh pasted over there measure and you're gonna get this look at that it's what we need import export of Meshio, which is PMD, PMX, MQO polygon models. Okay. And click. Check it. And save as default. Save it. Okay. Okay. That's our default we have right now. To make this the default screen, after we delete the cube and always get this endless void of nothingness, what we're going to do is go to file and click on save user settings what we just did is going to stay this way okay every time you open it is going to look like that if you want to play with that you can i don't want to okay now what we're going to do we're going to run down to file and down to import see we have miku miku dance here since we activated that um plugin we're going to go to users at least i'm going to go here to lady man so i save some models for this tutorial over here, let's go to Pokemon Hat. I'm gonna try with the first one. Let's open it. We have two. Either if you open normal or outline, it doesn't matter. Let's open normal. Let's double click on it. And you're gonna get this. See? If uh, to get the thing moving, you, since it was all selected, you press. Uh, you click on the right click button and it will do that it will move the, the model to rotate it you click on the wheel of your mouse see one thing you guys need to know for sure is that Komipo hates with a passion bone structures and Miku Miku Dance needs them so in order for us to be able to use this on Komipo we are going to need to get rid of the bones these are bones the bone structure, the rigging. Okay, so if we select to select the item, you right click on it and it's gonna get that way. And you see these arrows, with these arrows you move it away from the bone structure. Just to be safe that we don't delete it. If you do just control control Z it, you know, undo it and it'll come back. So now that we have that selected, once again with the right click, press your button gone and if you want to center it again just right click on that choose the arrow center there what we're gonna do now that we have no bones at all completely boneless like a breast um we're gonna go to file and we're gonna export it to a um format that with a sequoia understands which could be obj and we're gonna go to the same folder. Same folder where you got it, same folder where you put it. Reason for this is that we need the textures in the same folder as the item. And we chose the first, I think. Yep. And I'm not even gonna give it a name. Let's do that. Okay, we got that done. We don't need this anymore. Go away. We're gonna go to the second program, which is Meta Sequoia. Looks like this. The only different thing I did is that I get the that thing. This is the materials panel. We're gonna need that. We can click here and it appears and disappears. Be sure that this is not checked, okay? Basic mode because then it just collapses into everything. Oh, it's a pain. What we're gonna do here is go to open library. I'm gonna go to my documents, go to the Pokemon hat and open this untitled obj okay and we're going to import it just hit okay everything's fine there and there's all your little hat to zoom in and out use the wheel of your mouth mm -mm -mm -mm. to rotate use the right click okay okay you can edit this you can play with it so we have 
Here in the materials window, we have three different textures. That's what we get. And that's why we had to put everything in the same folder so we know where everything is. We're going to click on it. And we're going to get this window. You are going to go down here where it says texture. And click the ref. Go to the same folder where the textures are now. And we're going to, this is trial and error. We don't know what one is. So we're going to open it and check. Oh, yes, we chose right. So there's our Pokemon. It has kind of crooked looking, but serves a purpose. Second, we do the same thing. So I'm guessing this is the little one. So we go back to the same folder, back to the same folder, back to the same folder. And we choose this one. And you can go down here for the same thing. And go to the same folder and choose the same little one because we know that's the little corner okay and be okay with that and there we go everything is there I do believe so mm -hmm. it does look like it let's go to this I think something's not looking right Sometimes it acts up a little, but what we can do about it. Okay, this one we can fix. That one, let's see. Let's choose this one again. See if that fixed it. Nope. Anyway, just for all intents and purposes, we have applied the textures, which are these. And what we're going to do is save the file. Save it. Save it as Derpy Pokemon Hat. This is kind of derpy looking. Textures are not right and stuff. Anywho, so now that we got that saved, we don't need this. Go away. What we need now is Kamibo. There we go. And mine is the Japanese version, but everything should be in the same area as in the English version. So our 3D models are down here. I got some over there. What we're going to do is to open. And we're going to write document. And we're going to have the Pokemon hat. The first one. We're going to get the derpy Poke hat. And it's going to derp derp. Make sure that the 3D mapping is enabled. This is the second one. So it looks good. You have to play with that sometimes. And hit. And everything went well. Sometimes, um, Kami Boy is a little bit of pain in the butt when it comes to textures and vectors and complaints and bitches about everything. So, yeah. Here we go. And now we're gonna see how our hat looks. And there's our hat. There's our pokey hat. Kinda looks funny. But still, it's still there. And that's how you do it. Um, you play around with the textures if you want. I'm gonna delete that. You, if you're good with um, Photoshop, you can make your own textures and edit the the items. If you play a little bit with Mesa Sequoia, once you get the item in there, you can mod it. Like I've turned wings into hairpins and such. Um, and basically that's it. So if um, you have any questions or concerns, uh, send me a message. You can message me at DeviantArt by just send a note, Lady Manson at DeviantArt.com. You can message me at the Horizon Gap One Facebook page. I'll just just leave a note there and I'll just answer it. Um, and that's it. I hope this helps a little. And uh, I'm done. Class dismissed. As always, love and bondage, Lady Manson. <laughs>